So, let us slay the spire as the silent. Eclipse goes right over your house. Well, that's lucky indeed. Being able to see it from your own backyard. So, yes, biomes are on. We have the home of the ironclad. Very early on here. Interesting. Combats and shops have card from that character's color. So early in this run, we can pick up a few ironclad cards. Then we can go touch grass. When you enter battles, you will see grass. That's right. And the monster zoo. Better card reward and more gold. If we go through the monster zoo at the end here. So this is a, a spire that is not so usual. We also might have some modified starting cards. And yes, I see we have one tiny strike. A free strike that is uh, four damage. Upgrades to six damage. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. It's a little baby strike. That's right. It's like a mini slice. Not bad, honestly. So part of my pathing consideration for uh, playing with this combination of mods includes trying to get as much modded content as possible. That's the whole point, right? We're playing modded runs to experience interesting remixes of the Spire content we already know and love. And so I'd like to see as much of that as possible. If we can cut through the Elite to touch the grass, I'd love to do that. Otherwise, I'll probably go up this way. To the Monster Zoo. But ideally going through grass to get to the Monster Zoo. Next. When you see relics in rewards or shops, they will likely be related to grass. So we'll get a grass-related relic out of the treasure chest. I don't even know what that means, actually. I haven't actually put up a prediction. Let's do that, too. Will Silent. Play the Spire. Yay or nay? Silenty. I, I thought I misspelled that. <laughs> I was typing that in a window where I couldn't I couldn't actually see the text that I was typing through OBS. Oh well. Any whom let's pick a starting bonus here. Obtain a filled potion slot. I like that one. This is from the uh more Niao mod created by Uniquely K. Another content mod we're playing with. So, as a starting bonus, we can have a third potion slot and a potion to go in it, which I do like for that first elite. Let's try it. This is a, a bonus I don't get to take very often. Short prediction there. Oops, I didn't set the timer on it. Oh, well. Hope you got your bets in fast, Twitch chat. Let's go into the. All right, let's uh, let's start this fight out like so. We're having the tiny strikes actually quite nice with a little bit of extra damage required here. Yeah, tiny struck. Zen123, thanks for the prime sub in the five months. Am Yo Yo, thanks for 29 months. Cool. Boot concentrate. 
Think, think upon the boot Twitch chat. Think upon it. So this shows up on turn one. It's a, it's a concentrate with the innate keyword. Which just, I really just love the concept here. Um, or I could take a quick slash or a reflex. Quick slash is, I think, slightly better because of our tiny strike. It's the only decent card here. I'm pretty sure I don't really want to concentrate on turn one. It does have some interaction with Ring of the Snake, but not enough to actually help out until we get some more expensive cards. So I think I'd take Quick Slash here. Baltiri asks if you have the boot, but enough debuffs to make your attacks do zero damage. Does the boot make it five? No, you have to do at least one for the boot to increase it. If you hit for zero, uh, the, the boot will not apply, I don't believe. Though I think it might also be impossible to hit for zero outside of moderate effects. Uh, maybe with strength down. Yeah, strength down could do it. Yeah, you could hit for zero with strength down, and I no, the boot will not apply. I don't think weakness can make you attack for zero because I do not believe there is any way to do one damage. I guess, oh, uh, actually, no, body slam. Body slam with one block. So, yes. With weak, you can also hit for zero. And I believe that also means boot will not apply. Nice cultist fight. That's right, we're being offered ironclad cards. Do we take... Impervious? <laughs> Seeing red or war cry? I guess I'll take it impervious, right? I mean, see, see the man, take the man. That's him. And ideally, we'd like to find a strength card from one of the other two options, but it's really up to what the game provides. Discard the man. Fire potion's pretty good. What about fire breathing? Who's our rack boss? Hexaghost. Interesting. Silent with fire breathing. Kind of like it. Could also just take a perfected strike. It hits hard enough for two energy. Nothing wrong with it. Fire breathing more immediately addresses the problem of the three centuries fight. Love that the bot can just reply. <laughs> because Niao gave us a potion slot, obviously. Yeah, we're playing with some content mods today, one of which expanded our Niao options, and that's how we have a third potion slot. Don't the biomes also modify cards? They do, no lol. And yes, it is possible to see a card that's been modified both by Chimera cards and by the biomes. And those cards are usually pretty cool. I'm going to take the fire breathing. Lime boss practice fight. Tiny strike doing... Good work. Fire breathing potentially also doing good work. Kill this one first, I guess.
Now we have a slime. Two slimed, actually. Even better. Okay, not a bad fight. I think there might have been a way to do this with a few less hit points lost, but overall I'm really happy that we saved our potions here. Oh, inflame versus feel no pain. Wow. What a choice. I think on silent here, I should be taking this inflame. It's one of the only ways we're ever going to get uh, bonus damage on anything. But yes, the uh, opportunity to gain block from each shiv exhausting, for example, is really cool. And if I had a shiv card already, I'd still be debating, because the inflame is also really good with shivs. I'll take the inflame. I think we're good to go red path here, especially if I can upgrade a card. My understanding of transforms in Slay the Spire is that a transformed card will of a if it's a base if uh if it's a character card of any color, then when you transform it, I believe it turns into a card of your base class color. So if I were to transform Fire Breathing here, I would get a silent card, not an ironclad card, is what I'm saying. But I should probably just upgrade in Flame before we go into the Red Elite fight here, and then I can get through the grass. We have to touch grass to a shed. All right, and we did luck out that our first elite is the sentries here. Because we have fire breathing. All right, one strike and a fire potion kills this one next turn. Actually, kill it with neutralize. This turn, I probably just fire breathing impervious, so let's strike this one. Get five more. Only seven damage so far. I'm pretty happy with this fight, I think. Get in there, tiny strike. actually hit this one now, because I think the front one will die from fire breathing before I can hit it again, or before it can hit us again. Either way, really. They both die. Good. Get 32 gold, the toy ornithopter healing us upon potion use. And Slice is like a way better version of Tiny Strike. Cool. No, I don't think I want it. What about a Piercing Whale? Not necessary with Impervious. Too many block cards too early, I think. Skip? I'm thinking skip. Yeah, I'm thinking skip here. And then maybe... Upgrade fire breathing doesn't feel right, because it doesn't help us for any of these fights. We could upgrade quick slash for plus four damage. That's pretty good. upgrade neutralize or even survivor actually survivor upgrade it like yeah let's upgrade survivor that feels good we could also go for the burning elite here but that means no monster zoo and i want to go to the monster zoo gotta see the imprisoned gremlin knob and mock him playing skills over and over again outside the enclosure So we have grass. A random grass grows by one level for each unspent energy at the end of your turn. So by uns by not spending energy, we can grow this bell pepper. Good for us. 
grow my bell pepper. Grow. Now it's a level 2 bell pepper, which applies 7 poison to a random enemy. One time. Let's do that. Orp. Enjoy your spice. Why not level it more than that? Uh, kind of like, why not wait longer to play Catalyst? The answer is that it'll take more turns to win the fight if I wait longer to grow the poison versus just using the poison right away. It's just faster to start doing damage right now. Slayer, thanks for 22 months. And the kind words. I will take a dagger throw. We're currently lacking for damage. Dagger throw is perfectly fine. Alright, what's a grass related relic? Boot thingy. It's not a grass related relic, but I like it. Good talk. We have radish, leek, onion. As well as two fungi beast. Well, I'm probably just gonna kill one on turn one. Yeah, one fungi beast. Can relics be modified in this run? No, I don't believe so. All right, give me the grass. What do we got? Deal five damage to a random enemy two times and apply one week to a random enemy two times. Bonk. I like that. Sticky malaise. <laughs> Quite a description. Uh, this is a malaise that has retain, which is an absolutely amazing card. We are super clicking on that one. That is a really good card. Makes us actually want an outmaneuver really bad. Yeah, so last time we played this mod, I was losing it over the, uh, the card we found called Shameful Discovery. Sticky Malaise is pretty high up there too. Hmm. I think we have enough damage to go slime first here, but I'm not sure. Maybe I play fire breathing and just leave the slime alive. It's really bad that the slime is not attacking me turn one. I don't want to be frail. I'm going to kill you, Mr. Slime. You're going to like it. Ben blocks for three, Sticky Malaise also blocks for three, but they do one less damage every turn in thereafter. Sure. Here's my Inflame. I'll take one on this turn as well. Then we should kill next turn, hopefully. Any reasonable damage draw? Like this one. Get a cultist potion from the cultist. Appropriate as ever, giving us one strength per turn. That's a really easy way to get through Hexaghost. Although we may want to use it in the monster zoo, depending on what we're up against. Coke, dodge roll, quick slash. Oof, these are not the cards.
I'll skip these. It's time to go to the zoo. So monsters are stronger, but beating them will give us a, quote, better card reward, which I think just means rarer and more gold. So yes, they are legit stronger in the, in the sense that they have strength. There's also spooky ghost monsters in the background. I don't know what's up with that. Pretty high potion chance. Makes me want to consider using a potion this turn. Or this fight in general. We're looking at 22 damage. I blocked 21. That's not bad. Which Act 1 Elite is Cultist Potion the worst against as, a worst against as silence? Probably Gremlin Knob, in that it's just not enough strength quick enough. It's one strength on turn two, two strength on turn three. The sentries and uh, Lagavulin fights are a bit longer. So, you know, in Gremlin Knob, it's going to be worse than one strength potion, whereas in the other two fights, it's probably better than one strength potion. And yeah, the ghosts are hilarious. Could use our flex potion here, although I, I would strongly prefer to keep that potion for one of our elite fights here. So yeah, let's let's skill potion. I could just survivor in flame strike though. We should kill the slime first. Take one. Now we should use a potion. Maybe a damage potion or a damage and block potion. Or a one energy potion. If I discard tactician with survivor. I can play an extra card this turn. Well, let's do Cloak and Dagger. Okay, not too bad a turn. Let's go Tiny Strike. Then I can do Neutralize, Defend, Sticky Malaise for minus one to full block. Easy. Don't have to take that one damage. Good fight. And we do, in fact, get a potion. Viewer's Memento. Ethereal deals seven damage at X times. If exhausted, draw two cards. Or there's a Brutal Poison Stab, which does slightly more damage, but is ethereal. Why is Infinite Blades upgraded? Oh, because, oh, that's right. Monster Zoo gives a chance for upgraded cards. That's really cool to see a randomly upgraded card in Act 1. And that's where the Feel No Pain would have been pretty spicy. Dagger Spray is quite good with our strength. We don't have a good way to hit multiple targets yet outside of Fire Breathing. It's actually a very sensible take. I really like the Skewer's Memento, though. Let's take this card. This is also really good with strength. Because it's an X-Cost card, I have full control over whether it exhausts or not. I can always play it, for the most part, barring extenuating circumstances. So, do we Cultist Potion here? I think a simply Flex Potioning ought to be sufficient in this fight. I want a Cultist Potion against Hexaghost. How's it going, Durgib? The mods we're using for today's content are in the title, uh, Chimera and Biomes. Or the, those are the extra content mods we're playing with today. I'm going to get that knob back in their cage. <laughs> so this can do 45 damage. It's pretty good, but is that good enough? One hopes so. Also let it exhaust to draw two, which I won't be doing. 24. We should be able to do 24 pretty easily. 
We can potion if we don't get a good draw. Yeah, we're fine. That's 24. Not so bad a Gremlin Knob fight. We get 62 gold from that Gremlin Knob. Way more money than an Elite usually drops. We get the pair. And we're offered a Dagger Throw Plus alongside Backflip Dodge Roll. Unfortunately, four commons from the Elite. Oh, by the way, there's four options. I didn't even notice that last time, that there were four choices in the card reward. And we don't have question card. That's because of the Monster Zoo as well, presumably. Those are really good card rewards, then. I'll take the upgraded Dagger Throw. Yeah. Thank you, boat thingy. Twenty four gold, also more than usual. Accuracy plus. If only I had any shivs. The second infinite blades. That feel no pain would have paid off pretty quick, actually, with double infinite blades. And Venom's not horrible. Might just skip all these, honestly, though. I don't see a good reason to take any of these cards. The current venture. And going into Hexaghost, rather than upgrading Fire Breathing, I'm going to upgrade our Sticky Malaise. I'm going to use this Cultist Potion as well. And we should have relatively little problem with this fight. Although I should have waited one more turn. Uh, no. Interesting. Um, we increased the damage Hexacos did there, because it went over 48 health. This would have been a 4x6 if I'd waited one turn to use that potion, but that would mean one less strength, so I'm not actually sure it was the bad choice. Let's just go Fire Breathing Survivor Defend here. And then as soon as we draw that malaise... Play it. Although I have to play in flame? Hmm. This minus three is still pretty good. And I don't want to lose Skewer yet. Okay, we should have plenty of damage now. Although it's not too hard to see that without the Cultist Potion, we'd be way, way behind. Terrifyingly behind. Um, I will use this now. Inferno's next turn, but it's a pretty sad Inferno. It's only 3 by 6 Make that... Two by six. Okay, and now I would like to exhaust the skewer to draw two more cards next turn. GG to the ghost. Get mad money, we get a weak potion. Fragile Glass Knife. <laughs> I love it. Deal 8 damage twice. Decrease the damage of this card by 2 this combat. Exhaust? What do you mean exhaust? Is that better? Yeah, it's a glass knife that just, instead of, um, instead of decreasing the damage, it just breaks. And in return, you get it at zero cost, which is pretty cool. And it works with uh, Wrist Blade, too. 
That said, Doppelganger has a fun interaction with the Malays that could be very strong. But yeah, 16 for 0 is really good for Act 2 here. I don't see us pulling off Grand Finale successfully. I have strength to make this uh, double attack even better. I'm going to take the Glass Knife. And... We get offered Calling Bell, so get a Curse and Relics. Cursed Key, get Curses and Energy, or Astrolabe, Transform and Upgrade three cards. Couple X cost cards does say they like energy, but do I want Curse Key this early? I'm not so sure. I almost feel like I'd rather have one of the two options. The other two options, that is. It's possible that our transformed cards could be Chimera cards. I believe that is a thing. Be perfectly happy to transform a couple strikes, maybe even two strikes, one defend. Curses make fire breathing better is true. Definitely thinking about the calling bell here. Let's go Astrolabe, though. Go for the transform option, see what happens to us. We'll do two strikes, one defend. With our plus strength from Inflame, the strikes are somewhat valuable, especially the tiny one. Oh, that was definitely a Chimera card. We got Streamlined Eviscerate. Costs one less for each card discarded this turn, and one less each time you play it. I wonder if that's going to work. Eviscerate is a notoriously buggy card with its costs. I wonder if there will be a functioning interaction here. It also does more damage than a regular Eviscerate. That's cool. Yeah, it goes really good with the double dagger throws. Got a Deadly Poison plus, and of course, a Storm of Steel plus. Storm of Steel is hilarious here. That's an upgrade? No, it's, it's already upgraded. So th this is the upgraded version. Mana Surge. The Spire is being flooded with mana, entering your deck and changing your cards, enchanting or blighting them. There are also ways to keep these changes for the rest of the run. This affects basically every type of node. We definitely go through this. It affects the shop, too, so we get a Mana Surge shop. Then we can go to the Storm. Make sure to keep your hand out of the rain. Frostlands. A frosty crew can be found chilling in the frostlands within the spire. If you can overcome their challenges, they may have powerful rewards for you. Okay, I'm, I'm in. No Spoons Left says, Mana Surge is my favorite biome. Good. So shift pluses will also deal nine damage. So we can do damage nine times one, two, three, four, five. It's 45. So if I colorless potion, I can kill one of the thieves here. Regardless of what the card is. If it's useless, I can just discard it for another shiv. If it's useful, I can play it. Can you use this mod if you play the mobile version? No, you can only use mods on the Steam version. Or I think maybe the Xbox Game Pass, or the Games Pass version on PC. PC Game Pass. So yeah, mods are PC only. And yeah, we'll just uh, discard that for another shiv. 54. Pretty good turn one. Wait, how do I actually pay for this card? Hmm. Can I ever play that with three energy? I'm not sure that I can. Yeah, 
need a calculated gamble or something. Or a prepared. Or better yet, a prepared prepared. Massive backstab. Innate deal 22 damage. Upgrades to 30 damage. Absolutely massive. Big stab. Not sure if I want that. Well, it's a really good answer to slavers. It's a really good answer to slavers. Okay, so these all have... Interesting. Your backstab. Exposing. Can't even read the keywords. Apply one vulnerable to the target enemy, or a random enemy if not a single target. Ooh. So my understanding is that these are going to leave when we exit the Mana Surge. This is a neutralize now. Costs more money, though. Oh, the merchant knows these cards are worth stuff. Look at, look at the costs on these things, except for this Infinite Blade. This is apparently hella cheap for some reason. Oh, because it's a Cursed. So the Cursed ones are cheaper, and the buffed ones are more expensive. Interesting. Madargo says the enchantments on the cards in the shop are permanent. So you're telling me this pure backstab is awesome? It also says exhaust all status and curse cards in your hand. Oh, oh right, because it's a pure backstab with the imposing, exposing thing. The, the pure is not because of the seal here. So let's take this backstab. That is indeed phenomenal. And I'm going to take a Fire Potion. And we should probably get Frozen Eye, right? If we could afford it. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, Pure is from the other mod. So this is one of those cards that's modified twofold. By both Biomes and by Chimera cards. And is therefore very cool. Yeah, let's go uh, Frozen Eye plus a Remove of a Strike. Cool. Okay, and cards are going to receive random modifiers during this fight. Cool. Massive. apply weak. You know what I'm drawing? Should have done more math, but we're good. We're good. Sharp prepared. So these ones have permanent enchantments. Is that what I'm hearing? Let's try a crippling escape plan. Sharp prepared is also not bad because of the eviscerate. We can't currently play. I want the escape, escape plan with weaken. Let's take another event then. It's a treasure chest containing a ninja scroll. Dang it, feel no pain. I guess this is still good, right? Because we have exposing backstab. So now we get even more damage turn one, which is great news. And I'm going through the storm. To the Frostlands. 
Venturing through a series of tombs, you're faced with a large sarcophagus. Hmm. Somewhat head on removes. And we delete the writhe with the pure backstab. This is actually worth it. Right? We always draw a writhe with the backstab, and the backstab deletes it. So give me two upgrades. We upgrade Escape Plan, we upgrade Impervious. And now for an elite fight in the storm. One Book of Stabbing. Wait, what just got discarded? Oh, no, it's a slippery writhe. <laughs> I've been baited. I've been baited. I didn't know the curses could have uh, modifiers. It's excellent. That's absolutely excellent. The Chimera giveth and the Chimera taketh, I suppose. <laughs> I could discard these and get Shiv Pluses, but I don't want to redraw the Shivs. I guess we do... We do either Fire Breathing or I just have another Shiv. Looks like just having another Shiv is the right move. It's a pretty good turn one. And yes, the, the raindrop uh, visual effects look amazing. When a card becomes damp, it gains retain and exhaust. Next turn, we have streamlined eviscerate, huh? Next turn's a good malaise turn, then. By skewer memento, we can get the deadly poison, which doesn't really matter. Yeah, I do want to draw two, though. So, if I apply minus four strength, it's currently a base of seven. Seven goes down to three. Three weakens to two, so we take two by four damage. What if I quick slash survivor malaise? We'd only be minus two strength. Seven goes to five, five goes to three. So three by four, I'll only take one damage if I quick slash survivor malaise. Oh yeah, we've also got six incoming from the storm. Oof, even more reason to go the survivor line here. Yes, okay, yeah. It's never a kill this turn, is there? Not quite. Next turn though. So, if we have a kill next turn, is it ever more block this turn? If I'm at least for one, six goes to four, four weakens to, or no, yeah, seven goes to six, six weakens to four. So this blocks for four, for one energy, which means playing a defend is one more health than playing the malaise. For one. We have to just take the six of the lightning damage here. Uh-oh, do I have to use the fire potion? So this draw, I do. Yeah, let's just do that. Glad we bought this potion. We get a potion back, the fire potion, and we get blue candle. We can now play curses to take one damage and get rid of them. Electric accuracy, that's a cool card. This gives you one energy back when you play it, so it's sort of like a zero-cost accuracy. I don't want it, though. This is plus eight. So is this, though. Let's upgrade the massive backstab for big turn one damage. Just really big turn one damage. 
Ka-chunk. Killing Parasite on turn one is very good. I can't believe we can't play this card. <laughs> it's just so rude. Electric Sucker Punch. Nah. Still raining. Question card. More options from card rewards. Means we'll see more modified cards. It means we'll see more uh, upgraded cards. So I like that. Definitely like that. Means we'll see one more rare card from the boss as well. Oh. We can play it! The power. The power of Slippery Writhe. Holy crap. Snuffy92, thanks for the Prime sub and the 28 months of support. actually works this this synergy I would have to skip massive backstab to play it but it does more damage than massive backstab so yeah I will do it I suppose doing this Card you, kill you, discard you, kill you. Yeah, we get to keep the massive backstab and play Streamlined Eviscerate, which is now one cheaper permanently. Well, for the for this fight permanently, that is. Ow, my face. Ow, my face. But why did you attack me, though? I guess it's not that bad. Then playing the impervious increases our odds of getting a kill next turn. Be gone, cowards. Get Toxic Egg. Love it with a question card. All skills will be upgraded now. Another massive backstab. How about a tools the trade to make this eviscerate actually work? Still says three cost. I'm pretty sure it's going to be proper cost next time. Big tools here. And now to the Frostlands. Chilling crew. Oh, I guess this is what they meant by chilling crew. What is this nerd? Steward. Only has 64 hit points, which is not enough steward to prevent you from just getting killed on turn one. So I guess we don't get to know what steward does. The steward dies to backstab. What on earth? We have Crippling Cloud. Seven poison, two weak. Hemo backflip. Lose two health. Gain 12 block, draw two cards. Interesting. Dodge roll plus or prepared deflect, which is really cool. Gain seven block, draw one, discard one. That's exactly what we want. Give me this. Prepared deflect is very legit. Indeed. I remember to use a potion next fight. Does clockwork artifact prevent Sneko Eyes confusion? No, it does not. Ah, uh, yes, Snake Plant, part of the Chilled Crew. Good old uh, Snake Plant. Wait, what is this? Frostbite. If this card is in your hand at the end of the turn, take four damage. 
Oh. First card each turn we draw gets Frostbitten. So we're not allowed to not play them. Unfortunately, though, Snake Plant, you are dead again. I guess I'll just use a Speed Potion for no reason. Heal five. Yeah, good choice. Actician Plus, get in here. If this card is discarded from your hand, gain two energy. Remember, we have a Tools of the Trade. Now we need a Prepared Acrobatics. Steward is back. Steward, I have the same bad news for you, which is that you still don't have enough hit points, and therefore you are still dead on turn one before we ever get to know what you supposedly do. Destruction Plus. <laughs> Let him live! No. I will not. Wait, there's a treasure chest here. What do you mean? I didn't even realize that, I don't think. Why is there a treasure chest here? They give me the frozen egg. You know, that's actually really appropriate. Is that random or not? Either way, it's awesome. We get back-to-back -back egg relics with question card. Meaning, eh, life's about to be really good. Upgrade tools to trade here. And it was a blue chest. God, you're right. Every time. Love that that works. Oh, I'd have to skip in flame, though. That's not happening. Do I power potion here? That's a good idea. Welly planned. Let's do it. We can keep the streamlined eviscerate. Hmm. Decent turn to speed potion if we're inclined to do so. Oh, I actually should have kept that poison card so that we could strip the artifact off the bronze automaton. I do have a crippling escape plan, though. We can probably just use that. We're also going to draw two more from the memento. No, I don't want to draw the tactician just yet. Although I'm already going to if I play the dagger throw. So don't play the deck or throw next turn. Got it. And don't let Skewer's Memento go, either. Which could mean playing a Storm of Steel. I think that's a reasonable choice here. Take a bunch. That would mean losing Streamlined Eviscerate. I'm okay with that. Oh, yeah. Didn't account for that, though. I guess I can just retain Tactician. Although now... No, I can't use it now, right? That's right, I can't use it now. Okay, I guess I retain Tactician, then. Do this. It's going to be a random enemy? Oh, heck. Dang it. Okay, we'll just keep holding on to malaise then.
to close. So we keep impervious. Blaze gets retained. We have Tactician next turn. Impervious blocks the Hyper Beam easily enough, especially with Weaken. Not so bad. Not so bad. Escape Plan also weakens it, actually. Good. In that case... Poison this stupid thing. And yeah, get rid of Sticky Malaise now. Take that. We can discard Tactician here, but we have no reason to. help me next turn either. Get in there. Bonus damage. Yeah. Let's keep defend just so I have a chance. Already zero cost. GG. Okay, that wasn't too bad a bronze automaton fight. Dreamline Glass Knife. <laughs> it gets worse but cheaper as you play it. That's a bit weird. There's also Phantasmal Killer Plus, After Image Plus. I like the Phantasmal Killer quite a lot. Although we don't have an official way to retain, we do have Frozen Eyes, so I know if it's going to be good or not. After Image is also pretty good. Not amazing, but pretty good. Let's take a Phantasmal Killer. Being able to double our damage is pretty sweet. And a Hovering Kite sounds pretty good. Gain one energy after discarding a card on our turn is not so bad. I don't think we want Busted Crown. Two fewer options with both of these eggs would mean a lot less good card scene. Let's take Hovering Kite. And take a look at our Act 3 biomes. We have Volatile Grounds, which we have to go through. Enemies with explosive abilities, apparently. And that means I have to go through the Golden Curse as well. Combats drop more rewards that cost gold to claim and drop no money. What's with the face? Humility. Enemies are buffed in new and dangerous ways. That's right, upon entry, gain a random rare relic. It's very cool. Yet another way to get rare relics in Act 3. I guess I'll take some events along the way. Why not? But yeah, no humility for us. Because we have to go through the volatile grounds, which means only one elite this act. It's a little disappointing, but hopefully we can make up for it with good cards. Still waiting for our Acrobatics Plus. Someday. my spiker. Oh yeah, I have one deadly poison. Good news. Good news, everyone. We have one deadly poison in this deck. And one fire breathing, actually.
Yeah, I can't use the multi-hits. Okay, you're dead soon? Yeah, momentarily. I have to take one, but I'm going to play Massive Backstab because it just ends the fight here. Leave me some time. Sticky well-laid plans. Love it. They themselves retain, or it retains, and if we play it, we can retain other cards. So it's a well-laid plans you can never fail to put in play. How appropriate. Well, in free fall, you consider your options. Land safely to lose deadly poison. Channel a power to lose fire breathing. Strike at it to use a, lose our pure backstab or exert. Give all three cards the crypt modifier, starting each combat in the discard pile. But you can't see it because my face. Yeah, it means they start, uh, start combat in the discard pile. That's what they do. I think I'll lose the fire breathing. And then... We fight a boss, upgrade all cards, or... Get hella cursed. There's no shops. Alright, I'll fight a boss. Sounds good. Rip, slime boss. What a way to go. Wait, who's going? I'm the one going. Apparently. Ouch. But also not. The specimen. Whenever an enemy dies, the poison it had gets transferred to a random enemy. It's fine. Oh, Transmogifier has a Transmogrifier has a new option here. We can either transform one card as usual or apply a random modifier to two cards. Do I get to choose the cards? I do. Okay. Please modify... Hmm. Impervious? Maybe Phantasmal? Modify Phantasmal. Phantasmal Killer's Memento. So this is now uh, Ethereal, if exhausted, draw two. Good to have on a zero cost card. As for the Impervious, it's Slippery. Gain 60 block, but we discard it the first time we draw it. Interesting. That's not necessarily better. But it does say gain 60 block, which is kind of cool. Slippery Tactician. That would have been cool. But yes, not necessarily an upgrade, as you note. Perish. So many enemies just get dumpstered on turn one here. Another well laid plans, or another tactician. I'll take a second tactician. We've had first tactician, yes, but with two X cost cards. What about second tactician? Maybe that makes Skewer's Memento a bit better now? Let's upgrade our X cost attack. Mike Slays Spire, thanks for the mini raid. Welcome, Mike and friend. What the heck is this? Unstable Sunstone. So this is from the Volatile Grounds biome. Apparently there's a special enemy. And they're all regenerating. So we got two 
charged stone, uh, two sunstone shards. On its death, deal eight damage to everyone. And one unstable sunstone. On its death, deal ten damage to everyone. It's currently attacking us for twelve. Hmm. Looks like a reasonable turn to use a swift potion. So I would get Dagger Throw and Storm of Steel right away. It's a pretty good Swift Potion. Maybe I can kill the middle one immediately, or at least very quickly. I would like to do that. Kill the middle one first. Oh, on its turn. Yes, the middle one is on its turn. Okay, well, let's definitely kill that one first then. Heck that. Storm of Steel would be nine times one, two, three, four, five, six. There's only 54. It's not quite enough. I guess we're not playing it then. Deadly Poison Malaise? That's a garbage hand next turn. Hmm. Used to be do double damage? No, that's a garbage turn. Rud. Alright, we definitely better poison you then. Five charged. What did that do? Okay, they do more damage when they explode now. This is only attacking for five, but also plus ten. The potion doesn't actually do very much for me. Suppose that I take some damage then. Poison helpfully transfers. That's kind of nice. Now is a good time to use this with potion number two here. Which I will be doing. Flame Barrier. I did not notice that. Spooky. Ow. Not used to enemies having Flame Barrier. Oh, that one has it too? Wait, what? Oh, that's cheating. You hid your buff behind the rock. <laughs> you definitely... Hold on. It... See the Flame Barrier icon? It's, it's, right, it's right about here. <laughs> I guess I could have uh, double checked for that, but yeah, it's that's definitely definitely cheating. How dare you hide your buffs from me? All right, well, um, ow, I guess it means I'm not playing Skewer's Memento, huh? Ouch. Hilarious. Okay, now they are not uh, buffed in the same way. Thankfully. We can maybe focus on killing them. Oops. Although, don't forget that they do damage to everybody when they die. That part's kind of important to remember. Cool elite fight, actually. Rather like the design of this one. Let's 
Oh, and the last one doesn't get to explode, apparently. Interesting. Get letter opener. Berserk dagger spray. Deals more damage if your health is below half. Or we could take a cloak and dagger or an expertise. I like expertise a lot. We want some card draw. Uh, it's not the card draw I was hoping for. I was hoping for acrobatics, but I rather like it. I do rather like it. Yeah, you could view those guys as replacing our Repto fight, and that was an empowered elite fight, too. Sundial. No, we can't take Sundial. We have to take the Sapphire Key here. No Sundial for us. As much as we might have liked it. Simply won't do. Alright, let's start with you. Oh yeah, we prepared to deflect, so you're being full blocked. Which is fine. Let's just nerf you. Down to regular John Worm strength. Though I should have looked at the draw pile. Why am I a fool? I knew what I was drawing, too. Currently, this draws four. I could make it draw one more if I really want to. Does that help me? Yes, actually, maybe. It's not a kill, right? No. Well, that's on me. Flying Slice. Next turn, gain one energy is kind of cool. I don't think so, though. Unless it upgrades to two? No. It's like a flying knee, but it's Flying Slice. And now for Dorklings. Surely they're not too bad, right? Hmm. I want to let Phantasmal Killer go. that much damage next turn. I'd like the bonus draws instead. Pretty good turn one, though. We get rid of two of them, preventing any damage we might have taken. Is this just a kill? One, two, three, four, five, six times six is equal to perfect lethal. Get me out of here. Stinky fight. So we get a regen potion, which will cost us 37 gold. And two card rewards that cost 30. Do I pay when I look at it? Yes. Um, but it's worth it because there's a footwork plus here. I'll take that. Uh, do I pay 30 for another card of choice of four? I think I do. Yeah, worth it again because we get a malaise or a concentrate, but I'll take another malaise. What about the regen potion? Potion seems pretty good too. I will I will pay. I will pay. It's a lot of money we just lost, but we got some good stuff. So I don't feel bad per se. Let's use this regen potion. 20 hit points if we get the full heal. From it. Ugh. 
And then more from the speed potion right now, apparently. Bummer. Ugh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Then dagger throw, discard tactician. That gets discarded too. We can do footwork, defend. My potions! Can always buy more potions, thankfully. Now we can hold on to the impervious, at least. Which I will be doing. fight. Once again, we'll get more rewards that cost money to take. I'm not sure we're going to be taking them. I'm not going to pay 50 for a snack of whale. Do I want to keep paying 30 per card choice? I'm not sure about that. So though we did get really good options last time. I don't love having my money drain like this. But I'll look at one at least. Oh yeah, that was kind of worth it. Catalyst, Blade Dance, or Deflect. Sounds like we should take Blade Dance. But with the Inflame and the Phantasmal Killer. It's not the worst Catalyst either, actually, for late game damage. Simply one Catalyst and one Deadly Poison can go a pretty long way. I'll take the uh, Blade Dance, I think. Deflect's also pretty good. I'm not going to choose this one. I, I would like some some peace here. What I will do is take more combats, because I do want more money back, and I want uh, to fill these potion slots with something. So we'll fight these nerds, who should be nice and easy. Excuse you. Okay, not too bad. We get a strength potion. Prepared. <laughs> or we could take amplified expertise. <laughs> Draw cards until you have 14 cards in hand. That's amazing. It's like a really crappy scrawl. 
But no, it's not going to draw more than 10, of course. But, uh, that is funny. That is funny. I'm going to take that. Uh, I shouldn't draw or discard the other four. It should just say my hand is full and stop drawing a 10. I I'm pretty sure. It's amazing. Let's stop here. 14. So here we should just draw seven, right? We should just draw until Survivor. What? Wait, oh, that's the regular one. I'm, I'm an idiot. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that's the regular one. Ignore me. I've been fooled. Fooled into thinking I had a different card. Let's just do this. Not ideal. Or his hands go. Guess we just try to find the weak attack here. Right? It's gonna have to be good enough. Prepared expertise. Yes, we draw out a full hand and it says my hand is full, and we stop drawing. As expected. All according to plan. Taking 10 at the end from poison, so this should kill, right? Yeah, it does. Good. Ultis Potion. One strength per turn. Boot prepared. How about a regular backflip, honestly? I think a regular backflip sounds pretty good. Concentrate's not bad either with the, uh, you know super-powered, amplified expertise. I want a block card that blocks, so I'm taking the block card. I've got two malazes. I could use a little bit more consistency of weaken, so we'll upgrade the neutralize. Alternately, we could actually just rest here, because none of these upgrades are particularly good. I think what I'll do is rest in Act 4, go to full health then. And we should be good with 48 health and the upgraded neutralize for now. And the healing from potions if absolutely need be. Okay, so our malazes will make this fight pretty easy, as long as we can just discard a tactician at the appropriate time. 
Um, can we do that? Next turn looks like hot garbage currently. I'm going to have no block in hand whatsoever. Bummer. Big bummer. And then the following turn, I yeah, I can't do anything with this tactician. No way to keep Survivor, unfortunately. It's definitely a bummer. Can I kill the cultist with inflame, quick slash, deadly poison? No, that's only 18 damage. We might as well just malaise for four here. Take lots. Take 19. And then presumably take more next turn. Although we can at least get rid of the bird next turn. Could have been worse. We'll lose Phantasmal. We'll lose Phantasmal here. Then next turn we have a huge, uh, huge malaise that will help out a lot. I think we can probably win from here. I guess here's where it's beneficial that the well aid plans is sticky, because now we can just retain it if we wish. For one more uh, malaise here. Let's me get some important powers in play right now. Also play in flame. We can wait until next phase to do that, I think. Hey, Sazime, thanks for the prime sub in the 32 months. Have I considered massively raising the percent for modified cards to have a couple nonsense runs? I already boosted the chance relative to the mod's uh, base chances, just for full disclosure. I have considered going even further beyond, but it seemed like overkill to me. I've already got lots of modified cards. Although doing a 100% chance for modified card could be kind of fun. Just every card has a modifier. Since they're not always better, mind you, right? Not always better. Yeah, they're stronger most of the time, just like a transformed card is better most of the time. Thank you. 
Card draw, go. This is no reason not to play in flame right now because it's already at negative strength. So as long as it stays negative, we're not changing the strength into next phase. Let's, uh, let's get that out of the way now. We can hold on to a backflip and prepared deflect here. I like that. Good block cards. This would also be a pretty good turn for Slippery Impervious, quite frankly. Got other things in mind, though. Love streamlined eviscerate. The turn keeps going. More poison. GG to our first boss. We only have 19 health, but we do have three potions that heal for five apiece, so my hope is that Time Eater won't prove too troublesome. And we did get a very good turn one draw here. A very good turn one draw indeed, although turn two looks a little iffy as I have no way to discard these tacticians. We got footwork on turn one though, well laid plans on turn two, can't hope for a whole lot better than that. Do I want to use the strength potion maybe? I think that would help a lot. Make this fight a bit smoother here. Not the cultist potion, but the strength potion. Cultist potion for hearts, I would hope. Gonna make a big difference in that fight. One, two, three, four. I can definitely play one more, so let's do that next turn. Uh. Um. Why so big, though? Why so big? You're already weakened, you say. Oh my. If I want to play two more cards, it has to be quick slash neutralize. I do believe I want to play two more. Tim used big numbers. Surprisingly effective. At a six HP, we get attacked, or rather debuffed again, which is very deadly. I'm concerned that we're dead next turn, no matter what I do, as both Molases are on the bottom here. Seems highly unlikely that we survive. Unfortunately. But I will do my best. We 
11 by 3. There may be a way out of this. No, there's not. Right, because this costs 2. Heck. We are toast here. I guess I get to do Prepared Deflect, Amplified Expertise, and Survivor. That's about it. Uh, maybe the Toy Ornithopter can keep us alive. Oh, we have one more energy. Hold on. That's right. We have one more energy than I'm thinking that we do. Let's go Defend. Amp Expertise. Tools. Survivor. Currently taking 10, so one potion is sufficient to keep us in the game here. Get one. I really want to keep this uh, cultist potion for the heart. I would feel pretty bad if we had to use it. We could malaise for minus one. We do have another malaise coming up. Kind of a waste of the malaise, but when every hit point matters, perhaps not so. Sure. Sure. For all lots. Oh, what a jerk. Okay, we have Slippery Impervious next turn, though, so we're never actually dying. What a freaking jerk, man. Okay, it is the multi-hit means I should not require the Impervious here. So, currently this is a base attack of 8. Plus 3 makes it 11. If I minus 9, it's going to go to 2 base. I like it. Okay, keep the Slippery Impervious, because I don't trust this fool. And I should make Eviscerate cheaper. How's it going, Rain? You started being able to complete Ascension levels after watching the YouTube? Glad to hear it. It's always my goal that people find ways to improve their play through the stream. Okay, you're below half. So the rest of this doesn't matter then. draw overall. Suppose I'll have to keep backflip then. I think that might require the impervious. Yeah, I can't block for enough. Alright, impervious it is. Prepared to flex now. Let's 
goes to 10 cards. Yeah, we can play a full 12 right now. I'd like to do that. Very much like to do that. Let's card this, supply poison. Keep this and this. Okay, we're almost through the fight. Looks like things are going pretty well. Right, just draw the eviscerate and play it. And then defend. 27, 27, hit the slim. I think we win next turn. I think we're there. Managed to keep this uh, cultist potion, which is going to be very important for the hard fight. I'm very happy we managed to, pre to preserve that. Uh, otherwise, who knows how Act 4 could be going. GG. We are alive, though just barely. To thump, to thump, to thump, a deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of all these wacky cards? We deal 1863 damage. Good year. Well, yeah, maybe not if you were a soldier in the Civil War. Then it was not so good a year. Or, you know, living anywhere in the American South. Okay, maybe less good of a year. True. Do I finally get rid of Slippery Writhe? Hmm. Caltrops are also here for late game damage to hearts. Dex Potion looks really good at keeping us alive in the hard fight. So it's, I think, either another potion and either remove. And that second potion has to be the weak pot. And then either remove or terror. Purity could also remove some stuff from us, for us, which is kind of neat. Terror means our damage is way better in the hard fight. I'm going to take Terror here. Minus two draws compared to the remove, but I think that'll be worth it. Hmm. We're so screwed next turn. <laughs> I wish I could play Slippery Impervious. It's going to discard. No. It takes so much damage next turn. Terrible. Just terrible. And I don't have the front loaded damage to kill anyone here, unfortunately. Although we should be putting our damage into the shield, I believe. Although it actually looks like it won't matter. I think we're getting dumpstered here. Yeah, I think we're getting pretty dumpstered here. All the more reason to use Piercing Whale to negate Spire Spear's attack, although I'd rather weaken it. I'd rather weaken it, right? Turn back around and weaken it. May have been the worst year. Uh oh. Wait, no, which year did Krakatoa explode? Because that year was probably worse. That was 1883, okay. Worst year was negative 65 million BC.
All right, and I'll give a dad joke to the crowd. What's the difference between an asteroid and a meatball? Well, one's a little rock, and the other's a little meteor. Do I have a kill on shield if I use the weak potion and then wail and ba and then make it vuln? Hmm. Let's add up some damage here. Yeah, killing shield on turn one would be a good idea. Let's see. We could do 11 plus 45. Calculator time. Plus 24. Plus 18. Plus uh, 24. And then this is 12 and kills. Yes, we can kill Spire Shield this turn. Let's do that. Let's do that. I have my energy right. Yeah, one, two, three. Yes, we can afford that. Waste a bit of healing, but I think it's well worth it. We still get dumpster turn two, unfortunately, and there's nothing I can do about it. I'm going to draw a defend, burn, burn, in flame, and we're going to take 41 damage. Sucks to suck. Ow. My face, though. Uh, next turn, also pretty bad. Pretty bad. Get a bit deeper in the draw pile here. I'm going to be letting Phantasmal Killer go for the bonus draw, because this is not an acceptable draw. If we draw two more, and we can escape plan into footwork, and then dagger throw into amplified expertise, we're looking better. Actually, even more so than I thought. Uh, let's footwork first here. A laze for minus six. You go to basically nothing. Get shut down. All right, we should be good from here. Mostly good. Is that a well-laid, well-laid plans? It sure is. Although nothing will ever live up to the glory that was prepared, prepared from last time we played with these mods. A white beast statue, of course. Excellent, excellent. Some great cards, though. Piercing Whale, Calcul Catalyst, and Calculated Gamble are all here. With two malaises, I don't think I need another Piercing Whale. Pure Distraction. Exhaust all status and curse cards in our hand. Actually not bad either. But I think we take the Calc Gamble here. Catalyst is also potentially game-winning with only the one poison. I don't think it's worth it. Or hemo hemokinesis. Do we see that? That's pretty funny if so. Hemo hemokinesis. Still have to survive the early turns here, unfortunately. Which is, alas, a lot easier said than done. Probably I'm letting Phantasmal Killer go for the plus two draw. It's really imperative that we get... Uh, what is it imperative that we get? We're kind of hoping for multi-hit next turn. Spooky. Poor Phantasmal Killer was never played. I mean, drawing two is not a bad thing. I like drawing cards. 
Thankfully, we do get multi-hit first, so we are not immediately destroyed here. Uh, except we are, right? Because we're drawing this next turn and we're dead. Uh, amplified Expertise has to make the difference then. But how? This is why you don't like Frozen Eye? I mean, there's really nothing in the draw pile that can save me, actually, is the sad thing. The good blocks are on the very bottom. And, of course, Slippery Impervious don't do anything. Yeah, there's, there's not much I can do with this draw pile. Except have more than 67 health, which we don't. We unfortunately do not. I don't see any way out of this predicament. Let's see, if I play Escape Plan, Fragile Glass Knife, Defend, Amp Expertise. How many cards do I actually draw? Not nearly enough, no. Not nearly enough. Full Malaise, full malaise doesn't save me. No, it doesn't. Next turn will be 50 with Weaken. If we move minus 4 Strength, goes from 41... 61, about 45, which still kills us. Yeah, not quite. We're really, really close. If we hadn't gotten dumpstered so hard by Shield and Spear, we could survive next turn and then maybe win the fight, but the Shield and Spear did us in. Yeah, 46, as you can see, so. We perish. To the heart. GG. And payout to the doubters. GG. A good deck, but not good enough. Alas. To take the W here. Fun run, though. Very fun run. Dang, weather deck. That's a lot of waffles. So, next up, we'll be doing one of the other characters. Let's start a vote to determine who we're playing as. Make this one five minutes, as I am also going to Twitch chat, take a quick break here, refill the legs, and stretch the water. When I return, we'll play, well, whoever you're voting for. Be right back. <laughs> 